Hello everybody! Today is going to be an unboxing and first impressions video of a very pretty pen, which I'm going to share with you. Now, I have a friend who is in Florence and she actually picked this pen up in person for me, so that's amazing. Thank you, Jen. So exciting. It's from here! Casa della Stilografica. Thank you, Marco, for allowing me to have this pen so I could share it, review it. It is gorgeous, okay? This is a Leonardo Officina Italiana, is that what it's called? It's on the pen, sorry, I just wanna make sure I get it right. Yeah, it is Italiana. This is a Momento Zero, so it's one of the resin pens, and this is the Hawaii pen. So this is the packaging, it's just a sleeve. It's very Almas-like, you know, uh, with the colors and stuff like that. Very simple box. The pen is, it comes in a sleeve. It comes in a display bed, and it's got your little like warranty card information stuff, okay? I don't care about this packaging because I am super excited about this pen, which I'm going to show you now because it is stunning. This is the pen. This is gonna be my screenshot. Absolutely gorgeous. Now let me tell you a little bit about this. This is 145 euros without VAT. I don't really know what that translates to. Maybe like 175, I don't know. Um, steel, fine, medium, broad nib. It is a cartridge converter. The converter is beautiful, really nice quality. It's got this little blind cap thing, so it's like a captured converter. To be honest, I just open up the section because it's easier for me. Um, it is turned by hand, silver colored trim, which I think looks fantastic with the coolness of the blue. Like I think it's a really nice effect. Gorgeous resin. I mean, look at this. This is like beach, water, dark, wa deep water, just stunning material. And has an exquisite, smooth, wet steel nib, which I will show you. It's got a bit of ink on it, but that's okay. Okay, and what else? Um, I just want to make sure that I remember to tell you everything. Yeah, okay, that's basically it, because then I want to just like show you the pen. So I really like the shape of the Memento Zeros. I think it's a nice size. Steven finds them a little small, but he posts it, and then it's quite decent. But like for me, I'm totally comfortable using it unposted. I think it's really pretty. I've seen quite a few of these now, and they're all really well made. Like they're not super rough. Like there's nothing weird sticking out. Nothing has fallen off. Like I think the build quality is really quite solid. So really nice pen. And they've all written well. So, I mean, that should be expected, but it's not always the case, right? Now, if you want, you can get one at stilografica.it. I'll include a link. If you use the code Florence, you get a discount. I don't receive a commission. It's just a referral. Don't feel obliged to use it. If you don't like it, that's fine. Just sharing with you in the event that you would like to get one. So absolutely beautiful, but I want to show you how it writes, obviously, because it's just super pretty. The funny thing is I'm really excited about these pens because I think, I mean, they're not inexpensive, but I think given the quality and from what I like, from what I have seen, the build quality, but also the performance and the stunning materials, like this is not just another boring or not boring, but like run of the mill resin. Like this is a really pretty one. And actually they're all really pretty. So I think like these have really shot up my list of pretty solid options. If you're a beginner or a collector, whatever. I mean, it would be not, like, I know you could get a gold nib on like a Lamy 2000, a Pilot Vanishing Point, but they don't look like this. So it depends on what you're looking for. I like pretty pens and I would, I'm willing to pay because I mean, I'm pathetic. I would pay a little bit more for prettiness as well. So. Um, I really like them. So let us do some writing so you can see how beautiful they are in the right. Well, it is in the writing and also you can see it a, a little more in detail, like up close, but, uh, yeah, let's do that because it's absolutely exquisite. Thank you, Casa della Stilografica and Jen for getting this pen to me. Uh, I'll see you in a second. Bye. Hello, welcome to the writing sample portion of this. Okay, so here we have that Leonardo Memento Zero. This is the Hawaii, and I think this light is much better at capturing how exquisite this is. So this is like rocky sand, like beachy water, deeper, like a lagoon. 
absolutely gorgeous. Very comfortable section. There's that, there's some ink on the nib, obviously. But I love that the section matches the pen, like it's not just black or something. Very clean, classy nib. Super comfortable in hand. Okay, so let me zoom in a little. I'll do my best to write at an angle so that we can both see what I'm doing. Now the steel nib has a bit of spring to it. It's not a, it's not a flex nib. It's not even a semi-flex, but it is not super firm, which I really like. It's not excessively wet. So I think it's actually quite decent as a daily writer. So this is steel broad and the ink, if you're interested, should you care, is Mont Blanc Homer Blue. So yeah, I don't need to show you a whole lot just so you could enjoy it. Um, I really enjoy the writing experience. I actually think the steel nibs are really pleasant. Um, and typically I prefer gold or knit, gold or gold nibs, but the steel is really nice on these pens. So I hope you enjoyed, like, I hope you find this useful. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. I would be so grateful. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon as Gourmet Pens. And if you want to see more of this pen act in action, it'll be on my Instagram for sure. Thank you again. We will see you next time. Bye.